Good morning, uh, campers. <coughs> Excuse me a minute. Ah, it's on a cup of tea. Ah, an unchipped cup, burn china. Right, okay, so um, it's uh, Sunday morning, the uh, 25th, I think. Um, I know I've uh, spent the night, I was uh, just have, trying to have a look and uh, see what's happening with UDEP, and UDEP is the radiation mapping system. Uh, now what I've done, I've put some videos together uh, which explain uh, the, uh, the show Gallagher counter readings uh, of, uh, what's it been, be, uh, Thursday now. So Thursday when we had the rain, um, it was radioactive, it uh, brought up the atmosphere, so inside the van, uh, one metre above, um, I was getting uh, uh, you know, quite high readings, you can see it for yourself anyway. But it was about double background. Um, and then uh, I did a wet wipe and I just, just very vaguely uh, just stuck the Geiger on it just to see if it was how radioactive the rain was. It went up to about 0.5 microsieverts initially um, and then over 24 hours it dropped. So within a, an hour or so it dropped down to about 0.3, which is when I measured it, uh, just over an hour. So, and that was just to ascertain that the um, rain that was in the radon coming down. So it was. Um, then uh, the wind was coming from the it was the southwest. Okay, so I think I said southeast in the, in the, one of the videos. So or segments that I'm going to put with this. But uh, the <coughs> wind was actually coming from the southwest. Um, I was looking at the clouds and they were going over. The wind, low-level winds uh, on Thursday were very still. Uh, we had a kind of a high pressure. Uh, which was uh, keeping the winds low, <clears throat> so uh, and they were changing as well. The low-level winds. It was just there wasn't much wind there. But when you looked up, there was a fast wind coming from the southwest with the clouds in it. So on that layer of uh, of uh, uh, atmosphere, if you like. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, right. So basically, uh, what I can ascertain from that is that if I'm going that way. The way I'm facing now, that's kind of north. It's uh, north east, slightly north north northeast actually. So um, when I've got the clouds coming from that way, it's southwest. So I've just orientated the vehicle, taken the compass reading. Um, and the reason I'm saying that basically is that um, you'll see I've put I'll put one map, which is the uh, Magic Wizard, and it shows England and Ireland, and it shows the wind uh, and France as well. Uh, just the northern coast and it shows the winds um, and where they're moving where they're coming from where the high spots are where the circulatory patterns are so um, I, I've got one of those in there but I'm also going to put another one which I did last night the reason I'm a bit knackered this morning and <coughs> a bit coffee um, I went onto the Magic Wizards uh, site last night and uh, Magic Seaweed site sorry um, and basically uh, uh, found that the they, the pictures, the picture of England and Ireland and France had been taken out um, and or there was just a, a random shot of some place in the Atlantic. Um, so basically, the uh, yeah, you, I couldn't access the low level winds last night. Uh, I was just doing that because um, basically we, we were getting 36 CPM. So I just wanted to uh, uh, confirm that the, that the low level winds were coming from wherever but I can't I couldn't um, what I could work out if if that map where, where which you know has been changed um, we, we can't work out where everything it is uh, it did have a wind maps and if I was to presume that just the England and Ireland and French outlines were, were taken away but um, <coughs> that the winds were coming in from the west there was a high pressure zone in the west coming but but we don't know for sure as I say that could be any, anywhere but, but I'll put it in anyway, so there's some evidence there. It's about two and a half minutes. So, so um, yeah, uh, I've looked at your dep, and your dep is uh, still closed. So the, the last uh, readings there <coughs> were on the 7th of August. Um, it finishes about 12 o'clock at night. Um, on the 3rd, we have uh, an emission from a reactor in France, uh, going up to 0.7 microsieverts. Uh, uh, and now, of course, we've got uh, the English, uh, uh, sort of uh, two English reactors that have been stopped. Um, whether they'll be venting and letting out, uh, I don't know. Um, so I'm basically, I'm just going to stick the cargo on and uh, just have a quick look and see where, where that's going. 
got a lovely dry day here. Um, I would say the sun, the wind. It's coming from the north. From the north, probably north, north, uh, east, I would say, for about the moment. So, uh, looking at the Geiger, I've just booted it up, it hasn't even zeroed in yet, but 0.09 microsieverts, 0.1, well, it's very low. Um, and if this is coming northeast, I'm catching the edge of the moor because I'm on the uh, south, southwest part of the uh, the moor. So, I'm um, catching the edge of the moor um, at 0.05. A few little clicks there, 0.07 microsieverts per hour. So um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, there was a comment left on the uh, YouTube asking me how I'm doing. Uh, I'm basically living well, uh, eating well, um, trying to survive, uh, and um, yeah, I'm doing it quite comfortably, in fact. So um, I bought things like uh, ordnance survey maps, so I can start mapping out Dartmoor, trying to work out where if there's any hot hot spots in Dartmoor. Um, I'll have to do a, a number of checks on certain areas uh, to go back there after in different weather conditions to uh, try and ascertain um, uh, what conditions might be conducive to raid on. Um, I'm probably going to be working on that in this section as a test section, if you like, um, where it'll be through the winter, and I'm going to try in the spring as well, and I'm going to catch the end of the summer here. So we're going to get the best part of the year. Um, uh, doing a, a check of Dartmoor and uh, this particular section of Dartmoor, um, and then basically that'll be other sort of the the, the, the test area, the, the primary area, uh, and then um, with that knowledge and working out when I'm likely to get higher raid on uh, counts, I'm going to then move around uh, round Dartmoor and then up uh, towards Exmoor, um, and uh, and then probably cross to Bodmin as well because I know Bodmin's. Uh, St. Austell uh, does does get a little cloud to raid on go through. Um, okay, so and then we try and map up uh, exactly how accurate these in skin maps. You know, is it one big red blob or is it just some red lines that follow the rivers down to the estuaries, uh, with a probably slightly increasing uh, uh, sort of levels as you get go down into valleys and things, um, depending on the weather. So um, okay, so. We're going to have a look at that. So what we're doing really is that Unskir have averaged out the radon in this area. Um, tests were done by another Unskir scientist and they've basically turned around and said, you know, that in the houses, practically speaking, there is no radon uh, because uh, we're not finding it um, in an averaged out way. We're finding that it's not there, but if it is there, it must be based on these, uh, these high amounts in the radon areas. Uh, so anyway, I mean, there's kind of good news for people in Devon and house prices, you know, that, uh, that that we're not facing the radon crisis. I mean, there is radon in certain areas, and those areas probably are aware of it generally, and they do mitigation. I think a lot of people uh, don't like the cost of trying to find out about radon in their homes. Um, so at times, you know, although you're supposed to, when you sell a house, uh, check it for radon, it doesn't always happen. So, um, and... Uh, I think basically that's uh, it's a bit of a shame because we could have been building up a good statistics uh, with the uh, estate agents uh, on on areas where there are radon and radon mitigation is needed, you know, and, and it is needed. You know, you don't want to be living in a house with a lot of radon. So this kind of work is is important and it should be being done by the scientific community. Um, I'm going to do it in my own little way. I, I haven't uh, picked up any uh, suitable equipment for measuring. Uh, raid on. Uh, I haven't got the funding to get the boxes that you can place and uh, all that. Um, I'm, uh, but with the Geiger counter, I should be able to track. Uh, there are certainly hotspots that are, you know, 200 becquerels. I'll, I'll certainly I'll find those, whether they're in caves or waterways or whatever, um, and we can start drawing up a, uh, an idea of what's happening with the raid on. Uh, what else have I done? So yeah, it's just magic seaweed. I check the wind charts out. Uh, we, the winds coming, the clouds were coming from the south the other way on Thursday. We were having rain and it was radioactive. It rained last night. Um, the winds are going the other way, so they're coming from the north now. Um, it rained last night briefly. Uh, no major change on the uh, Geiger counter. Um, 
I, mean, I didn't bother doing a, a, a rain check because it was really early in the morning and the, <clears throat> the rains were very brief anyway so uh, but I wasn't you know even if there was rain on in it um, <clears throat> basically it's um, I'm just saying it's not in the atmosphere down here uh, wasn't enough to, to, to create a, a reading. So, um, okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'm uh, going to be fooling about. I've got to go and put these things together um, and stick it up on YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm doing well, um, you know, as could be, because, you know, I've lost my home and everything else. Um, but, hey, you know, so I've also gained a home. <sighs> I'm four wheels. So, um, anyway, so I will uh, talk to you soon. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to try and dig around and find out what's going on in France because they're uh, obviously not reporting it. Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, all right, that'll be it, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Uh, I'll stick some of these vids behind this uh, uh, behind this job, and uh, you can uh, you can uh, just have a bit of evidence, uh, photo photo evidence, video evidence of what's going on. All right, look, take care, peeps, and um, yeah, yeah, we'll. Uh, keep you updated and I'll have some crosses on an ordnance survey for you to look at maybe next time at the preliminary uh, preliminary tests see you. okay guys I'm uh, just move it up a little bit all right I've uh, just been outside so what I've done is um, uh, I put the guy count on the ground I got a reading um, of 537 cpm um, I raised the Geiger for another reading uh, where I got 430, so I had a drop of 100 CPM. Uh, and then basically I uh, came inside um, and the readings have dropped a lot. So uh, th there's not much in the air, but near the ground and above the ground, just above the ground, there, there is a reading. But obviously the wind then I think is starting to dissipate this, or it's being washed further downstream. Um, okay, so that's what's happening here at the moment. Um, just show you point nought eight. Uh, it's been going, going between point nought five up to point one five uh, in the van, where radon would accumulate. One would have thought uh, it, it's reasonably well vented though. So uh, okay, so the radon is actually in the grass. It can be measured in the grass still, uh, and above the grass as it's evaporating uh, because the sun's hitting it. Um, and I just wanted to note that for the record. All right, cheers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Just switched on the old uh, Geiger counter. I'm sitting just on the edge of Dartmoor, the southern edge. It's pouring down with rain. And we're getting 0 0.007 micro reutigens, which is 0 0.0 or 0 0.06 now, micro sieverts per hour, 0 0.08. Microsieverts per hour. So, and it's just settling down there. Uh, I've done uh, a few readings over the last couple of days. Uh, I've got between 31 CPM uh, over a 10 minute uh, sort of read uh, up to 38 CPM. Um, so, just to get an idea, 38, the highest I've got is 0.11, and that's average. The range would be 0.04 to 0.17. So 0.17 being at the upper range, being slightly higher than I'd get in London. Um, although actually, when I came out of London, it was actually 0.17 and peaking. But as you can see, um, London is the same as the south of Dartmoor. Now, it has to be said. So I'm going to be doing some investigation of waterways and things like this and trying to work out where the hotspots are in relation to the radon map. So uh, I was just going to let this kick over for a little while just to show you the kind of range we've got. But yeah. And uh, it is absolutely chucking it out down there show you pouring down don't know if you can actually see it but uh, yep that's where I am and you can't even see the hills in the background so you look above that tree you can't even see there's supposed to be hills there and we've got this for a little while so uh, in the sun Pretty much the same, a bit lower. 
and I'm going to carry on doing checks and I'm also going to see if I can improve on the uh, oh that's nice see if I can improve on the uh, that's very nice centrally heated shower yeah. the lights being that though but it's waterproof by the look of it so my new home I'm going to show you a bit of my home, shall I? Uh, just a little bit. Got the English cherries from Kent. I'm in the southwest, but anyway, never mind. And what a view! What a view! Home sweet home. Right on the edge of Dartmoor, Radon Central, and we'll be checking out Bodmin and all sorts yet. Yeah. Okay, we're. Uh currently south of the uh, Dartmoor. The rain clouds are coming in from the southeast, so they're coming in from uh, La Hague. Uh, earlier on today I had uh, normal levels, now they started raining and I'm getting between 0.12 and 0.24 microsieverts per hour. Uh, as you can see we've got the 64 CPM at the moment, which is probably around about going to be about the average. That CPM, if I, so we're talking maybe 0.1918 average. And it's popping up to 0.8, uh, sorry 80 CPM. And it's getting up to about 0.24 microsieverts. So I'll just show you the rain. It's rain. Take my word, it's Dartmoor. Some hills there. And uh, yeah, so since it started raining, we've been getting this. It's coming in from the southeast. The clouds are so um, I'm presuming it's uh, coming from La Hague. It's the kind of right direction. Low-level winds are choppy. They're going from north to south, actually, uh, possibly because we're in a valley. But we're getting from north to south in the uh, the wind. How do I know that? Because I've got a wood burner which is currently blowing smoke north then south and then kind of being vague so there's not much there's not really a lot of wind to be honest so this is just the rain bringing down the radon but not but not from Dartmoor so uh, I've been here for seven days eight days now and I'm just getting 0 0.10 average and very little rises and uh, that'll be my report for now I shall get back to you later okay uh, we're getting 122 CPM which is working out at 0.32 microsieverts and that is on Mouldy old wet rag, and it was getting up to 0.5 when I first did it. But, uh, I just wanted to show you that to show you that the, the radon is from the rain and not the wind. Okay guys, I'm uh, now bringing you to um, Saturday the 24th of August and uh, we're looking at the uh, reading that we're getting. Now I did a, a 10 minute check earlier yeah, and we got 363 which is about 0 0.10 microsievert so we're kind of 
back to where we were. Um, it's going up a little bit now, but um, we're kind of back to where we were. Uh, the, the, there is uh, a sort of kind of a, a reasonable variation. Uh, it's peaking up to 0 0.16, 0 0.17, but uh, but the average is uh, is pretty low. So um, I've checked your depth, and I'm going to attach that to, to this video, so you can have a look that your depth stopped on the I think it's the 7th of August, um, and hasn't uh, you know it's obviously the emergency uh, services uh, uh, sort of uh, monitoring for radiation site and it's been closed for two weeks so they've been taking no measurements the last uh, thing that was going on was on the northern fr uh, coast of france uh, they had a 0.7 microsievert peak uh, and then shortly thereafter everything stopped so um, also uh, last night yesterday uh, haysham and another uh, nuclear power station in the uk also stopped so we could be expecting something from there uh, now these winds are now coming from the north. We had a, a pressure out, uh, as you can see by the uh, video I will attach, uh, you'll see that there's a pressure to the left um, out towards the east of the UK and that's moving slowly towards the UK, although the UK has a very, I think it's a low pressure, so there's not much wind uh, yesterday, which was true. Uh, but now we've got some winds coming in from the north, started last night, uh, picked up and that's taken all the raid on away. Um, so actually the winds from the north that cross uh, Exmoor and uh, that also cross uh, Dartmoor uh, are cleaner than uh, what was coming in from uh, what we presume could have been the southeast. The clouds were coming from, the higher clouds were coming from there, but the lower areas um, could have been from other directions because of the uniqueness of the uh, UK uh, weather or wind systems. Okay, so uh, I just thought I'd uh, give you a quick update. So today, yeah, we're back to normal. Um, I'm going to try and keep an eye out on what's going on. Uh, your DEP is closed. So that's the uh, EU Radiation Monitoring System for the emergency services. It's been closed for two weeks. Um, so uh, we caught that on video and we did get a peak before it closed and uh, possibly the French are uh, trying to hide something. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm uh, going to just uh, keep an eye on this and I can get back to you if there's any problems. Um, otherwise, I shall get down to a suitable place and upload this to YouTube uh, as some evidence and uh, in case any of you guys want to be checking your depot and uh, uh, switching on your Geiger counters, um, kind of useful at this